What's going on my fellow collectors? Today let's talk some Star Wars. So I was out and about with my daughter today. We did our normal, you know, let's hit up Walmart, let's hit up Target, let's hit up Toys R Us, let's hit up GameStop. Pretty much always busting out, especially around my area. The stores just suck. They never have anything in stock. But I did find this, this uh, 40th anniversary titanium Darth Vader figure. So let's take a look at it. Here's the box. It's uh, quite small. I mean, it's definitely smaller than the uh, Black Series packaging. But we got 40th anniversary Star Wars logo right here. We got Star Wars. It does say the Black Series. Um, it is like a titanium, you know, Darth Vader. It's a little picture of the character of Darth Vader there, Hasbro. On the side, it's one. On the back, shows a little read up here on Darth Vader, and it shows the other, I guess, figures you can get in the series. So you got Obi Wan, Luke, Princess Leia, and Han. Then you got all that stuff, and on the side, you got this pretty cool image of a bunch of stormtroopers. On the bottom, you got that, and on the top, you got that. So yeah. Let's crack this thing open and see what it's all about. Okay, so real quick, I just want to show you guys this. Getting this thing out, it's that stupid clamshell where you got the cape, you know, tucked in behind here. So it was like, you know, tucked behind there. So just watch out for that. And then you have like one of those um, very soft kind of wires that go around here. Like it's almost like real stretchy. So just very annoying. And then look at this. I almost, you know, got rid of the package and realized that there is something right here that actually has some tape on it. Um, and I'm guessing that's some kind of something in there. Let me see what that is here. Because it's definitely got tape over it. Uh, that's, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's some kind of like, I don't know what those little things are, but they're like individual, individual little pieces there that are right down here in the bottom of that. Just wanted to show you guys that. Okay, so here he is all out of the packaging. You get this really kind of neat little base thing here. Let's take a look, look at that first. You get this nice little base that you can put the figure on and it's pretty cool i mean it just kind of has a basic gray color to it. it says star wars here i'm wondering if maybe these little gray things that were in that clamshell have something to do with maybe plugging it in that plugging it in here which i think <clears throat> excuse me i think it might be some kind of like little pegs or something you can use to hold things in but as you see it's two different parts here's one part and then you can kind of clamp this on to that. Oops. Like that, like so. So very cool. You got this really nice kind of, you know, hallway look. It's got the, almost looks like there's like light, you know, shining through the, the walls and everything. Very cool. And then you also have this other side, which is a really nice, cool, almost like st uh, stencil drawing of Darth Vader and Stormtroopers very very cool so you have those two separate this is actually a card that comes out i believe or oh no i see so you can flip it around this way or you can flip it around this way and have whichever one you want but that's the um little base thing and i believe that these these do connect on the side here like it showed on the box um where did we see that on the box oh, wrong box like it shows on the back here with these other figures so you can connect them and have them all across so pretty cool and then as far as darth vader goes he's got some weight to him he's actually pretty heavy but um taking a closer look at darth vader you see it's got a decent little sculpt on it i mean it's nice it looks kind of like the you know the the six inch figure we just got in the 40th anniversary line has the same helmet, has the same kind of maroon eyes to it. Very nice. Let me see if I can get some more light over here. There we go. 
But yeah, I mean, it's pretty decent. You have these, you know, you have some, some glossy black on the helmet and the gloves. You get a glossy black on the on the boots here. Get a little bit of detailing in, uh, like they did some silver, you know, brushing over the lines in his pants. Same thing on his arms. So, I mean, not bad. Nice detail throughout the belt. Pretty cool. And the cape is a separate piece, so you can take the cape off. Here's the back of it. So we even have some, you know, um, sculpting in the back of the cape. This is a softer material, but it's not that flexible, really. Like, you're not going to be able to pull it up like that, but... Good little, uh, cool little figure. And here's the cape itself, and he does stand pretty good on his own with the cape uh, on and off. So you see we got nice little sculpting in the cape. Back of the cape's got some pretty cool little sculpting to it. So not bad. Now um, as far as articulation, I'm surprised he does have some articulation because I thought it was just going to be like a statue. But you do have some movement here at the head. It can go um, up and down. It can look left and right. Even has a little bit of tilt on it. So you get pretty good, you know, movement with that. Now as far as the shoulders, or the arms, um, they do go all the way around. So they just kind of swivel around. And then they kind of hinge about that far in and out. That's it. Um, and you do get rotation at the glove all the way around. Uh, same thing with the other side. You get, um, you know, complete swivel. And you get a hinge that brings it just about that far out and that far in. And again, you have rotation. And yeah, the lightsaber it comes out of there. And you do have a cut here at the waist. So he can, you know, basically turn all the way around. And that is it. There's no movement in these legs at all. Yeah, no movement at all. So, I mean, I was, I was definitely surprised that we got some movement. Now, as far as the lightsaber, as you see, it's completely warped. But you got a little bit of detail on there. A little bit of paint on the hilt, I mean, on the hilt itself. And you get this kind of like... I don't know, it's not really, I guess it is kind of like a translucent uh, red. And that, as you see, that fits in his hand pretty well. Just kind of push it down in there. And then his other hand is almost like just a force hand, pretty much. But the cool thing is you also get this as well. So this is actually like a lightsaber that's, you know, showing that effect like it's being, um, you know, th like he's swinging it through the air and giving that effect. But it kind of looks like a freaking, uh, what do you call the, like fruit by the, like a fruit roll up. It's just like a fruit roll up. It kind of has that, just that look to it. And even just kind of like a soft plastic. This again is warped because I'm sure it's not supposed to look like that. You know, so it was like, Kind of like nice try, but come on Hasbro And we got like black chipping paint on mine, but again you get a little bit of detail on the sculpt and Yeah, that that doesn't come out of there. I didn't check to see if this one comes out Yeah, I don't think this part of the lightsaber comes out But let's see what this looks like in here So, I mean, I don't know. It just looks... Oh. I don't know. <clears throat> I think that looks pretty silly. I mean, it's it's a neat concept. I'm glad that they that, that they're tr that they tried. But I don't know. I mean, it, it might kind of work. Like he doesn't even hold this lightsaber as good as he did the other one. But that's all the accessories he comes with. Like I said, he does come with those four little tiny gray things that were kind of in the packaging that I almost missed. And my guess is almost... 
because it does have peg holes in the bottom. Yeah, that fits in there really good. So it's just kind of like extra support, I guess, to get him on here. You know, make sure it doesn't fall, fall off of there. So that's pretty cool. But let's put the cape on him and give him his bent lightsaber. So, yeah, look, mine's, I'm going to have to peg that in there because, yeah, looks like it's going to fall if you don't. But the fact that you get a little bit of uh, movement out of that, I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, that's not bad that you do get some articulation. Out. Oh, all right, let's peg them in, see if that might help a little bit. Yeah, that's what it is. So that's going to keep him on there a little better, keep him from falling. But yeah, so that's the 40th anniversary Star Wars, guys. Those little titanium uh, figures. So if you come across them, you know, that's... This is the Darth Vader, anyway. I don't think I'm going to get any more of them. But it uh, looks like he measures about four and a half inches. Oh, I'm sorry, not four and a half. He's just a little bit above four inches, actually. And this whole thing is about six inches. You know, from the bottom of the base all the way to the top. So yeah, I mean, not too bad. Pretty cool. You got the two different options. You get a little bit of movement out of there. You get the fruit by the foot roll up lightsaber swoosh effect. But yeah, guys, so that's it. Uh, thanks for checking out the review. And I'll see you guys on the next figure review. Take care.